Listen up, viewer, you've been eating unhealthy. That's the word on the street. Literally, I heard it from a hot dog vendor. Are you addicted to certain foods? I know it sounds strange, but it's possible. There are three stages to addiction. Craving, loss of control over that which you crave, and continued use despite the consequences. This goes for things we eat. Sounds scary, right? Well, some foods are more addictive than others. Let's talk about them and how they affect your health. Which foods are terrible for me? Are any of them healthy? We're talking all that and more. Number 1. Cheeseburgers Cheeseburgers are as addictive as heroin. I know that's a pretty blunt statement to kick things off, but it's true. A study confirmed it. It turns out that the amount of fat in a fast food diet alters your brain chemistry the same way morphine does. The average cheeseburger is around 319 calories, in that you're consuming normally 21% of your daily sodium intake, 11% carbohydrates, and 32% saturated fat. Remember, that's just in a single sandwich. This high dosage of fat and sugar acts in a way similar to drugs. If you are eating a steady fast food diet, you're likely to develop an addiction. Research states that sugars are a key component to addictive foods. Women are recommended to limit their sugar intake to about 25 grams per day, while men should cap their limit around 36. This habit alters your brain development so drastically, experts claim that it eventually reaches the point of no return. This means it's difficult to shake the addiction and return to a healthier diet. So the next time that you're in the McDonald's lineup, remember what you're getting yourself into. Number two, chips. That's right, that tiny bag of potato chips you eat as an afternoon snack is extremely addictive. In fact, their appeal is similar to that of drugs. A study conducted in 2017 examined the brains of heavy chip eaters and drug addicts. As it turns out, both chips and drugs affect the same areas of the brain. Researchers showed subjects pictures of junk food. They had the same reaction as those with drug addiction. So, as with cheeseburgers, what the heck happens to your brain to give it this rush? Have you ever heard of dopamine? Dopamine is a chemical in your brain. It acts as both hormone and neurotransmitter. Dopamine works to send signals to your nerve cells, encouraging reward-motivated behavior. The high concentration of salt in chips triggers a dopamine reaction in your brain, making you feel rewarded and craving the need for more. Potato chips are just so tasty. Even other species enjoy them. In a study done on rats, the animals were given their choice of standard rat food, a mix of fat and carbs, and potato chips. In the end, the rodents had eaten more of the potato chips than the other two options. Number 3. Cake there's a reason why your coworkers get a little aggressive at the office birthday party. And no, it's not because they want to leave. The real reason is cake. It's highly addictive. Once you eat a slice, you instantly want more. Think about all the sugar inside cake. The average piece of chocolate cake is equal to around 340 calories. Just that one sliver provides 17% of your daily carb intake. If you have three or four slices, think about all the sugar you're consuming. You'll be bouncing around the workplace like crazy. Your boss will have to make a new rule. No cake until 5 p.m. With foods such as cake, practicing moderation is next to impossible as the high sugar intake keeps you coming back for more. Just think about the next time your birthday is right around the corner, just say no. Number 4. Cheese To put it simply, cheese can have you hooked after the first couple pieces. How many dinner parties have you attended where the plate of cheese is left untouched? I thought so. A bunch of you are probably surprised to see this one on the list. Why exactly is cheese so addictive? Let's talk about casein for a minute. Casein is a protein found in milk that breaks down in your body, creating an amino acid known as casomorphin. This has an effect on your brain similar to that of opiates. Number 5. Cereal that's right, the breakfast item we've been eating since childhood is extremely addictive. Unfortunately, we don't even realize it. If your kitchen sink is currently stacked with plastic bowls, you may want to consider eating a different meal before heading out to work. In all fairness, cereal is fairly easy to become addicted to. You can whip a bowl together in the window of a minute. Not to mention there are several health benefits to eating it. Good cereals contain plenty of fiber, iron, zinc, and low fat. But there's one content in cereal that you need to keep a watchful eye on, one that people often don't think about – sugar. With all the sugar cereal contains, its availability to the masses is almost criminal. Health experts recommend that a serving of cereal contains no more than 10 grams of sugar. The problem is that the average cereal brand contains about 19 grams of sugar per bowl. Some of your favorite cereal brands are guilty of surpassing the suggested limit. Brands like Frosted Flakes, Cheerios, Fruit Loops, Raisin Bran, and Rice Krispie all contain between 12 and 18 grams of sugar. The things you loved from your childhood don't always age well. Before we continue, are you concerned about your overall health? Perhaps you should watch our recent video on what eating fast food every day can do to your body. It'll freak you out. If you're looking for something a little lighter, have a look at our clip discussing what you regret based on your zodiac.
Now back to our list on the most addictive foods. Number six, steak. This entry is one of the stranger ones on our list, one that you probably weren't expecting. To get it out of the way, steak is filled with protein, potassium, iron, and vitamin B6. While it's certainly among our healthier picks, steak is still addictive. Red meat in general has this effect. But if you happen to be a bodybuilder fixated on beef, make sure you aren't overdoing it with the steaks. Red meat contains chemicals like albumin, hemoglobin, and gamma globulin, all which activate opioid receptors in your brain. This keeps you wanting more even after your meal is done. A steak for dinner is always a treat, but try not to eat too much. Studies have linked heavy red meat consumption to colorectal cancer. Regular consumption can increase your risk by 20 to 30 percent. It's safe to say that the stakes are high. Number 7. Chocolate have you ever heard of a chocoholic? It refers to somebody who just can't stop eating chocolates. They eat it on impulse. This is how serious chocolate cravings can get. Chocolate is the most craved food among women. It just makes people feel happier. When we consume chocolate, serotonin is released in the brain. This affects brain cells related to mood, appetite, and romantic desires. The problem is that chocolate can be loaded with fat and sugar. A one ounce bar of milk chocolate is around 235 calories. This includes 31% of your daily saturated fats value. Depending on how bad your craving is, the heavy consumption will have you wanting more and fast. Number eight, bacon. I know, I'm ruining all your favorite breakfast choices, but it's worth it in the long run, trust me. Studies show that bacon is located in the middle range of foods with addictive elements. It's the perfect concoction of everything sweet and salty, not to mention its aroma is downright hypnotizing. Remember earlier when we talked about salt triggering dopamine? Even two pieces of thickly sliced bacon is equal to about 10% of your daily sodium value. If you eat six pieces on a Saturday morning, you could be consuming 30% of your daily value before the afternoon. This amount of salt will have you feeling rewarded and craving more. Number nine, pizza. Yes, pizza brings joy to all. That's why it's just so addictive. In fact, it may be the most addictive food. In the same study that listed bacon in the middle, pizza was placed at the number one spot of foods with the most addictive elements. Pizza's mixture of ingredients including bread, cheese, tomato, and meat all culminate into a flurry of fat, sugar, and salt that goes into your system. The fact that it tastes absolutely delicious doesn't quite help either. Just a regular slice of cheese pizza can equal around 237 calories. This includes 22% saturated fat and 19% of your sodium intake for the day. Keep in mind that this is without pepperoni. These contents make eating just one slice nearly impossible. Is your favorite food on this list? Are you addicted to any of these foods? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy!